everybody what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video I am finally finally months later reviewing the Michaela and glam light collection I do have the whole collection here I'm really excited to try it out um I I've seen her all over TikTok I do watch a couple of her videos and I mean I watched her I think it was like in 2020 when she wasn't she didn't have as many followers and then she like blew up like crazy and then I wanted this so bad because like purple is my thing I also made my whole theme of the video purple today because it's just it's one of my favorite colors so I just decided to get the whole collection but it was on pre-sale they had sold out on the launch and then they did a pre-sale and back in June when I had purchased it it didn't ship until the end of August and I didn't it didn't actually ship ship until about a week ago and so I just got it the other day and I was like I need I freaking need to do this. I know you guys have either already seen a million of these, already bought it, whatever. I'm excited to do a makeup tutorial with it. It's such a beautiful palette. So we're gonna get right into this video. But before we do, if you're not subscribed and you're new here, hi, I'm Jamie B. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my side of YouTube. Make sure you subscribe before you leave. I'm really, really fun and chill. <laughs> I like to tell myself I am but if you want to see three new beauty videos every single week make sure you subscribe and we're gonna get into this makeup look this is stunning okay honey oh my god okay this is kind of fun and hear me out um I'm like a two-year-old when it comes to stuff like this there is a Tarte palette that I bought and I solely bought it because it has turtles and like liquid in the cover okay so this is actually i feel like this is like really fancy and this is a really fancy jazzy situation this is stunning oh my we're right up in here today i think that we're this is where we're gonna be right up in here this is so pretty i don't know because these colors are calling to me too oh god i don't even know so i'm gonna go into freetown which is this color right here and I'm gonna go into the corner. It's like a mermaid color. That's just how I see this color. So I'm gonna go right into the outer corner and I'm just going to start packing that into the outer corner and above the crease. Oh, you know why? Because Jeffree Star had a lipstick color like this and it was like mermaid blood or something. So now I just associate this color with mermaids. And I'm actually gonna bring this in. I might cut this a little bit different. I don't know yet. I don't know we're going but I'm basically at this point just packing the color on so it's super super dark and super super dense really really fucking pigmented again this is like my first glam light palette so you guys have to let me know if you have glam light palettes what is the vibe for you do we love it do we not I wonder if I do like a halo eye okay so I was gonna do like a half cut grease situation but I'm gonna actually do like a halo eye with these colors so what I was saying was if you guys have this palette or not just this palette but any Glam Light palette let me know. I know that they make like the really cute like food ones right? Pretty sure that they're the food company. They make the food palettes you know what I mean. So when I go like this it's round. When I go like this it's flat. <laughs> Fuck. It's okay. So we have the blue. Hello. It's a lot higher than I wanted. I think I'm going to go in with the best color. And bluff that out. I was gonna do a different color, but I think I'm gonna go in with that. Ooh, that's actually really pretty. I actually love this color. It quite literally is the best color. It's gorgeous. And it blends so well with this blue. Alright, so now that I have that, I have to go in and kind of blend because I feel like I just have a lot of blue everywhere and I just need to tame it down. So I'm just gonna like blend the outsides. And this is just a very like light blending brush. And what I do is I go in with literally nothing on it and blend out the edges where I feel like they're too harsh or they're like, you know, not really even. And I literally wipe buff wipe buff so i'm going back in with some more p louise on my pan to make sure i have enough and i'm going in with a super flat brush it's a foil brush actually and i'm going to place the p louise exactly where i just cut it and it's okay if it's not perfect because we can always blend around that the first one i'm going to go into is going to be the audrey color which is this dark shimmer and i'm going to lay that 
on the outsides of where I just laid the P. Louise. So I'm literally just going to pack it right here on the outsides. Mmm. Mmm. Psych. Okay, I think I'm gonna switch colors. I don't like that at all. It like literally blends right into that blue. I think I'm gonna do bonehead on the outside and then I'm gonna do stunting on the inside, which is that bright green gold. Alright, let me get this green on here. Bonehead. Ooh, yeah. So I'm placing bonehead on the outsides of the eye. And then I'm gonna put stunting, which is that gold green, on the insides. And I also will put bonefish up here. So I'm making like a third little piece only for the center like that and now I'm gonna go in the stunting which is right next to bonehead that like gold it's like a snaky green is what I compare it to and put that right in the middle I'm gonna try to use I think a wet brush for this because it's not really picking up the bam shimmer I thought it would like boom boom you know what I mean? Oh, there we go. So if you have this palette, I do recommend using a wet brush for these shimmers. Because as soon as I did that, boom. So we're going to go back into that bone head one, the blue or the like bluey green shimmer, the first shimmer. And I'm going to pick it up with a wet brush and place, oh, freak yeah. Okay. And I'm getting less fallout now that I use the wet brush. Ooh. All right. Now I need to wipe my hands that's what happens when you can't use a brush maybe like a silicone hmm, I don't know we'll see so the first color I'm gonna go back into is gonna be Freetown which is this color right here and I'm going to just dip very lightly not to really build color but to just make sure it's blended with these greens that are on the eyes so kind of just like that like just a very light like nothing crazy. I'm not really building color at this point. I'm just blending it all together. I'm also going to go back in with the best color, which is that seafoam green, very lightly, and give it one more go. Just feel like, unfortunately, because there's so much shimmer, like fallout from this, like shimmer got everywhere, all over the place at this point, which I kind of did not want. So I think that's going to be it for the upper lid. I'm going to just do a few swatches of some colors I'm really kind of digging in here. New Beige, Manifest, Buffalo Chicken, Iconic, because I'm going to hop off camera and I'm going to be doing like my face makeup off camera, but I just want to show you these. So Buffalo Chicken is not as orange as I was hoping, but it's really pretty. Ooh, okay, blendable shadows. All right, I'm gonna go into Mass Hole and Rowdy and Simping. And I think the last one I'm gonna do is Glow Up. So two more mattes, two more shimmers. So this one is Rowdy. Wow. This one is Simping. This one is Mass Hole. Wow, that's actually not bad for a blue because blues can be really tricky. And then this one is Glow Up. Wow, these are actually really, really pretty shadows. And I think I'm gonna do another look with them at some point, obviously, but at some point like in the near future because I'm really, 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 like there's so many different options. Like Simba is so pretty. Oh my gosh, Immaculate. I'm just going in with some more of these. Cookie, I can't help it. Like they're so pretty. Handy. And I'm gonna go in with Loop. All right, these will be the last swatches and then we will move on. Look at those. Uh, oh, let's see where we can swatch. Can we swatch them somewhere else? Do we have space? So we have Simba. Oh, that's gorgeous. And then we have Immaculate and we have Cookie, which is beautiful. And then the last one, which is Handy. Handy's a little, she's a little patchy, but it's a yellow. So the fact that it can even show up on that part of my skin is like really awesome. And then the green one, which is Loop. Wow. Yeah. These are like really pigmented shadows. Okay. <laughs> like, look at these. Wow, I can't wait to use them all. So I'm going to hop off camera, do the rest of my face. Y'all know how it goes down. And then I'll be right back and we're gonna finish off the upper eyes. Ooh. So I was going to go in underneath with like that same blue situation, but I actually think I'm gonna go into loop, which is that green. And I'm just going to line my bottom lash line. 
because that turned out to be like a super pretty color and I think it'll really bring out that green that's on the middle of my eyes. And I'm just using a very light blending brush. Not super dense, so I can kind of just blend that in there. Okay, so I kind of do love that. I'm glad I did that. Ooh, I think I'm actually gonna go into the highlighter and use that because there's not a color in here where I'm like, oh, I need that for the inner corner they're a little bit too like yellow warm situations where i need more of a cool tone vibe so this is the michaela glam light pressed highlighter mm. show off your looks oh it doesn't have i guess it does it does it not have a name i don't know so i'm gonna go like this does that look like that's been touched do y'all see that <laughs> that's kind of weird all right so I'm going to go in and just kind of swatch it to see what color goes off. Yeah, I think that'll be okay for the inner corner. It's not as... It has a little pink undertone to it, which I'm hoping isn't really going to show up too much. But we'll see. So I'm going to use that as my inner corner. No, it comes off very silver, so that's good. Just to kind of bring a little bit of that color together. Does that actually really turn out really, really pretty? And I really, really love it. All right, we're going to go in with the rest of the highlighter for the face. It's so creamy. Like, it just, like, like butter over my face. Like, seriously. Whoa. I think I might have done way too much. But, like, so... It's, like like butter like you don't think you really get anything on here because it kind of just like glides across but you go to put it on your face and you're just like oops oops I did it again so real quick I'm gonna go in with my setting spray before I do my lashes and let it dry while we're deciding on like literally my hair is wet that's how it looks like there's two different lashes and they're both very big so there's no subtle and not subtle. There's just humongous. Let's see what they're called. Okay. So code orange. And then brand new. So brand new is kind of like more spaced where code orange I think is where it's going to be for me. So again, I've never tried anything glam light. So this is the first time I'm trying their lashes so i decided to go with code orange and i really 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 like these the other ones are just kind of a little more spaced out than i like so i'm gonna measure these real quick since i've never actually worn these usually i know whether the lash is gonna fit me because well it's a band that i've used before where this is a new band so i just need to know like yeah i think it's gonna be a little too big i wish that they would have had a more natural lash option and a big lash option because you know i do love my lashes big sometimes but not all the time sometimes i like to just have like a natural little wispy situation and this one you were like big or bigger was my only two options these are huge like at this point I have hooded eyes so for me it's like I've basically just covered up all that work I just did and the other ones would have done the same because they're just as froofy so that's the only thing I would say is I just wish there might have been an alternative or a smaller option for people who do not want to cover their entire makeup look like do you know what I mean like I just feel like now all you see is kind of like the blue and the green if I go like this, like, you're good, but, like, who's... Hey. I don't think that these are ugly lashes. Like, I think that they're beautiful lashes. I just think... Hmm, I wish that there was another option. So, this is the packaging for the lip glosses, and they are all lip glosses. I wish that there was a lipstick, but... So, this is what the components look like. It looks like I have, like, a nudie one, a gold one, and a silver one. I'm gonna swatch them all for you real quick. And we have a doe foot with the little hole curve. Ooh, I do love that. That is my favorite. Clear with gold reflex and has like the little hole in the doe foot, which for whatever reason, I'm obsessed with. I don't remember, I think it's NYX that has it in their XXL lingerie. And it's so nice how the applicator is. So we have like a nudie pink, which doesn't really contain any shimmer. I know it looks like it does, but I have shimmer underneath from the swatches. And then a gold, which does contain shimmer, and then a silver. Wow, those are really nice. And there's no smell to them. I will tell you that. And that's nice. I mean, I don't mind a little smell, but sometimes some of these companies go like hard in the paint with the smells. So this one is not so bad. So I'm going in with a ColourPop liner first in the shade 
so happy. I chose to do a nude color because my eyes I knew were gonna be super bold. So now I'm trying to decide, do I wanna do gold, silver, or the pink one? And I'm gonna go in with the pink one, which I don't know if it has a name. Do none of these have a name? Lip set, and then there's no name on it. I don't think that they have a name, so we're going with colors. I'm gonna go in with like the nudie pink one. Oh, I like this. Okay, I love that. I also really love the feel of this gloss. Like, it's really nice. It's not super thick. It's not sticky, like, at all, which is amazing. 110% amazing because your girl hates a super sticky lip gloss. All right, so we went over the lashes. We've done the highlighters. We've finished the eyes. Did I get everything? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got 15% off my next um, purchase. So I guess um, this is it. What do we think? I think, I think, we're here for my final thoughts. I think that the palette is definitely something that you should get. If you haven't gotten it, you definitely should. I don't think it was very expensive. I'll put the price somewhere on this screen, but it's just so it is so pretty. I do recommend that these shimmers be used with either your finger or a wet brush, 100%. The matte, the mattes blew me away because I did not think that they would be as pigmented or blendable as they turned out to be. I thought that they were gonna be a little patchy for being so vibrant and so like neon pastel situations, but they turned out to be like stunning. They are absolutely, even the swatches I did of colors I didn't use, turn out to be absolutely stunning. I think that there are so many different looks that you can come up with this palette. I love that she put in a ton of like neutral nudie colors for those of us who may not want to have a whole blue green eye but a little of color with a little bit of normal. So I think that the shimmers are very unique. I like them a lot. Um, most of them, they're not duochrome per se but one or two of them. It's just they're so pretty and it's another one of those situations where you have a matte and a shimmer that kind of match whatever vibe you're trying to go and do. So I love a palette that has a matte and shimmer match so it just makes everything so cohesive and so simple. I absolutely love this palette. I'm glad I got it. I think I'm gonna have to do some more glam light palettes because this really really this is amazing it had me shook 100% I've never used this brand and I really really like it I think Michaela did an amazing job on not only the colors but just the uniqueness of the packaging to me it's just the time that it took to just do this I think that this is very cute I definitely think that this is a must-have in your collection I love it I love the packaging I love the detail to the formula which is <laughs> The packaging can be beautiful but if the formula is trash you know what I mean where in this case it's not I will tell you like this was actually one of my favorite items out of it because this highlighter just throws me off okay it just it does you go to touch it and like it's so creamy that you're just like mm, nothing is really coming onto my hand or my brush and then you put it on and it's just like butter across your skin, okay? Like I had, I was like, oh God, I did too much because you don't feel it. It's one of those super creamy, super like just, oh, this will last you a long time. A little bit goes a long way, but it's not powdery. Like it's so creamy, but it's a powder. Does that make sense? No, that's okay. Um, as for the lip glosses, I like them a lot. They're definitely lip glosses. I would prefer to wear over a lipstick because they are, they're not pigmented per se. I like the feel of them though. Like this might be my new favorite lip combo, the So Happy ColourPop and then the pink nudie lip gloss. None of them have names, which I don't really, like I don't, maybe you can't get them separate, I don't know. But as for like the clear and the gold, they are beautiful. I love the formula itself. So when it comes to lip glosses, if they're not super pigmented in color, I don't find the need to recommend you guys buying them because if you have a clear gloss, you have a clear gloss. If you have a shimmer silver one, then it's just kind of the same. They are really nice. I do really like the formula. So if you get them, you're not gonna be disappointed that you got them, but these are not a hey, run out and buy situation for me. Um, it's just not, they're glosses. Like they're not bad. This is definitely my new lip combo, but 
like it's just not a must-have I will say that these lashes are growing on me they are really pretty they are really big uh, I just wish that there would have been like two options like a really really full lash like this and more of a wispy lash where these are gonna be like even more dramatic than these and I feel like if you have hooded eyes or you have small eyes it kind of covers all of the artwork you've done on your eyes and now at this point it's like you just see blue when I open my eyes so I just wish they would have been a little bit thinner the band is okay but for quality wise I've just used a lot of other bands that I feel like were easier to maneuver easier to use and I will say a couple hairs have fallen out and I don't know if it's for me pulling them out I don't know if it's for me snipping the ends because they were too long for my eyes so I don't know that I would really recommend these lashes I think that there are lashes that are more inexpensive and just kind of work better and are easier especially for people who are beginners like these are going to be really really difficult to use and maneuver because the band is so thick because it is such a full lash so if i have any recommendations for glam light it would be that just put like two options you know really full really wispy so i don't think i feel like those are just personal preference though like they're not like oh my god i can't believe you did that um just for me i think that it would be a better situation to do it that way but that is it guys i hope you really enjoyed this makeup tutorial with the new michaela and glam light collection i am so sorry that it took so long to get out but i just i tried to get it before it sold out and i didn't and then i had the pre-order and it just took me so long to get my hands on it but i finally did and if i if i had to say I, I'm kind of excited that I waited for it and that I got it because it was worth the wait. It was a really, really beautiful collection. I think it was, the package was done beautifully. You could tell that there was a lot of hard work put into this palette and I just absolutely love it. I think it's stunning. If you don't have this palette, what are you doing? You need to go get this palette and just really enjoy the fun and bubbly colors that it comes with. I just, it was so nice. It's so, like, I think that Glam Light might be my favorite. If you guys have a Glam Light palette that you think I need to have and I need a review, let me know down below because the formula on this palette was to die for. Like, just look at, mmm. Mm, I love it. So let me know down below if you guys are getting this collection, if you've gotten this collection, what are your thoughts? What are we thinking? You know I like to chat chat, but I love it. I'm glad I waited. I think you did an awesome job, Michaela. If you ever see this, just know this was an amazing, amazing collection. And I hope you guys liked it. And as always, I'm out and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.